गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई होप यू हैव फिनिश योर सेकेंड चैप्टर एक्सरसाइज नाउ लेट स्टार्ट अवर न्यू चैप्टर मैटर वॉट इज मैटर फर्स्ट एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग ऑफ दिस चैप्टर यू नीड टू लर्न वेरी नाइसली दिस चैप्टर सो पे अटेंशन ओके मैटर I am showing you this. This is pencil. This is sketch pen. Here scale. I have water bottle. So water bottle, water is inside the water bottle. That all of this thing. Table. There you sit. Okay, bed. Suppose if you are sitting on a bed, then your bed, your wall, bricks, sand, cement, air that you are breathing, whatever you are eating. So whatever present in a surround or in a insert, I can say that whatever things you can feel, you can see, you can smell, you can, uh, you can uh, taste. all the things are known as a matter okay so this pencil your human being all the human being me you or the animals birds every single thing that you are you can able to see you can able to touch you can able to taste all of that things are known as a matter now but in your textbook or in chemistry how it is defined so first matter exist in a different physical form physical form first and most important thing what is the meaning of physical form physical form which means that whatever thing we can observe like solid this is solid this pencil is a solid water is a liquid you uh, breathe air that is gas so they what the whatever example i have told you that all the example that you can able to see you can able to feel you can able to uh, touch that is called physical form of the substance so the matter exist in a different physical form like solid liquid and gases okay now one form can be converted into the another which means that solid which means that i am writing here solid can convert into liquid so for that i am taking your example ice ice can convert into the water so that is solid convert into the liquid so we can say that the physical form a physical form of solid can convert into the liquid here is the simplest example i have to. liquid also convert into the gas like water when we heat water so it convert into the vapor gas okay so these are the conversion of the physical form which are the physical form solid liquid and gas is known as a physical form okay so one can one form can be convert into the another matter expand on heating and contrast on a cooling expand on a heating which means that ice is a solid ice particles are very near to each other very near to each other when we heat when we heat ice so the particle are expand more we heat it or more it expand and convert into the vapor and vapor we can make this vapor cool so it convert into the water and when water we cool it it convert into the ice so by heating it can expand and by 
cooling it can contrast so it is a contrast form heat expand more heat more expand now we cool down one more time it contrast more cool it down one more time more ex more contrast so this is called so physical form can convert into the one another and they by heating they can expand and by cooling they can contrast so beside the physical changes matter can also undergo chemical changes on heating now physical changes which means that solid to liquid liquid to gas gas to liquid liquid to solid so that conversion that is called physical changes solid to liquid which is meaning of physical changes so beside the physical changes matter which means all the solid liquid and gases matter can undergo chemical changes on heating so this is the physical change but sometimes chemical change also be happen now what is chemical change that we will learn later first you learn what is matter that is the most important thing if you understand the what is the meaning of matter then you can understand the all the things which is given here so all the topics we will do here turn by turn in very detail okay so first one first one introduction when we look around we see many things like plants animal land water rocks different object like desk chair book pen pencil bag shoes houses cart etc whatever example i told before the all the example here plants animals land water all the natural things that you can able to see you can able to touch you can able to a uh, taste so the plant and the plants animal land water rocks different object like desk chair that you are using book that you are using pen pencil bag shoes every single thing that that you can see that is call a mat now they are of a different shape and size that you know very well all of this example have their shape and size some are living while other are non living this plants animal uh, all do these things are known as a living things while other are non living so some are natural while other are man made like water rock all both the things are natural thing and desk chair book pen pencil all are man made so all these things are part of our environment all the things are part of our environment but what makes up plants and animal what makes up plants and animal what what makes up land and water what makes up desk and chair so the answer to all this question is matter which means that how the plants made how the animal made how the water made how the desk chair everything are made with a particular substance and that substance is called a matter so in fact everything we can think of from the book which are read the which are read the here you can see in your textbook on page number 20 every single desk chair pencil books all these things which are given so chair on which we sit the water that we drink etc are all made up of matter okay underline this all the made up of matter so matter is not only what we can touch but it also include the air we breathe in and the sun the stars the planets in the universe every single thing as i told we can touch we can see we can feel all that things are matter so therefore we can say that all the substance whether living or non living are composed of a matter which means that this pencil this pencil is made up of this uh, 
lead and the and the wood right so this wood this lead both are known as a matter so the compose of the matter so the creation of the matter most scientists believe that all the matter in the universe was created in a explo uh, explosion called a big bang you heard about the big bang theory where the when one place or uh, one star blast and then after the blast the one more the universe created so the belief at that time the most scientists believe that all the matters in the universe was created in an explosion of called the big bang so the great amount of energy was released in a big bang that is the one type of bomb that is created in universe so the great amount of the energy was released and then after just a few second some bundles of the energy turn into tiny particles of the matter and that made up of universe in which we live today which means that the our solar system is a part of the big bang so in a, a 100000 or 1 lakh years before this thing will uh, this thing was happen and due to that the our solar system arise and the solar system and earth and that we are living so that is a scientist belief and creation of the matter only because of big bang that they believe so the different form of energy are heat light sound electricity magnetism chemical energy nuclear energy solar energy these are the different type of form of energy underline this the different type of form of energy energy which generated through the big bang okay so this is only for your information that you take mark okay so now you know that first the matter so we if we classify matter then the matter is classified further into living thing and non living thing so the living thing plants and animal that you know all the plants lotus and banyan tree and all the trees and plants you know uh, very well about the plants and animal around you whatever human being also consider as animal so the all the living things and non living thing natural in non living thing natural and man made air water rocks stars all of this are natural thing but non living natural thing and man made artificial plastic cement bricks everything are known as a man made so these are the classification okay so according to that classification here it is given the living matter the earth is a home to all kind of plant plant, plant plants and animals and they can grow move and reproduce on their own right this is you know very well what is the meaning of living things and non living things the living things can grow and move and respond on their own so that is a living thing and non living thing most of the matter in the universe is a non living it means that it does not grow move or respond on its own so it can natural or man made so you can underline there that they can grow move and respond on their own that is a living thing and non living thing non living thing it means that it does not grow move or respond on its own and it can be a natural or man made that you underline i i hope you know very well about this and third fourth standard you learn about this and fifth standard also living thing and non living thing now the matter natural matter it occur in a nature and can be used to make a more useful substance so natural matter like wood coal silk water stone cotton jute cereals fruits so all these thing are natural matter but they are non living natural matter it occur nature in nature and can be used to make more useful substance so underline this the natural and can be made more useful substance we can make something from this so that is a natural matter now man made it it is a produce artificial from the natural matter like a plastic soap detergent medicine glass nylon steel ceramic all this thing we can make uh, these things are man made but we can make from the natural matter 
so it produced artificially from the natural matter underline this point first line okay so does the matter of only one kind exist no there are different kind of matter so the different substances are made up of different kind of matter like a chair is made up of wood basket, basket is made up of plastic book is made up of paper etc even a single material material which means that matter single matter can be used to make a different object so any object like a wood we, from wood we can make this pencil okay so whatever the substance or whatever the things that you can able to see or surround you that everything are made up of from the different thing like chair the chair made up of, of plastic or wood so that is a even single material can be used to make a different object okay so here some one activity is given this a list five object made by using each of the following material so the list five object made by using each of the following material what what would this pencil a chair you can write another thing that you write here in this textbook only this would is a chair okay other whatever the example you can want to take paper book so whatever example you know you can write here in your textbook only not in your notebook okay i hope you understand this point student till here we are doing you read it very nicely and if you find any query then you can ask okay till then goodbye